Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. What I've done right now is I've updated the database to basically what our game is going to be. So we have our user which has the ID, username, password, and email that we did in the last part. Then we have the stats. So we have the ID of the player, then we have how much gold they have, how much food they have, and what their attack and defense are. Basically, the, the way this game is going to be played out is you'll have, I'll show you the units, you'll have workers who produce gold, farmers who produce food, warriors who modify attack, and defenders who create your defense. The way this game is going to be played out is you will have workers who produce food to buy weapons which as you can see here are going to be sword for attack and shield for defense then you're going to have your food that are produced by farmers that way you can buy your warriors and defenders then we have our attack and defense which is used to fight other players or defend from other players to steal or save gold. So that's basically the way the game's going to be played out. Now, what I'm going to do first, what we're going to work on first is the registration because we want the user to be able to register so that they can log into the game and play the game. Before we do that, I'm going to create a new file called functions.php and this is going to hold all of the functions that we'll be using in our game. So to start off with, we'll use function connect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this MySQL connection from the test.php that we were working on last tutorial and I'm going to throw it in here. So whenever we call this connect function, we'll connect to our database. That way we can um, I don't know, what do you want to say? We can use it to display all the information of our game. The second function I'll be creating is going to be called protect. And it's going to take in a string as a parameter. And what this function is going to do is protect us from any sort of hacking through forms. Because I've known that people will try to hack using forms like in registration forms or if you're you know doing something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to return the string but it's going to be mysql real escape string and what this does is escapes special characters in a string for use in the sql statement for so things like a single quote or a double quote will have slashes or other things manipulated to them. That way you can't, you, uh, hackers won't be able to use SQL injection. So to further protect the string we're going to do uh, trim tags I believe it is. I think it's just trim. Let me just see. Actually strip tags. Yes, strip tags is the one strips HTML and PHP tags from a string. So this way users won't be able to sorry, semicolon. This way users won't be able to use any kind of PHP code while they're using a form. And then last but not least, we will do add slashes. Which we'll just throw slashes around quotes that way any kind of PHP code that could be used will be essentially negated. So then we add in our parameter, and there we have it. So that's that, and those are the two functions that we will be using. I'll just let this go for a little bit so you can see what they are and you can add them. Okay, now we're going to create our register.php file. And in this, I'll show you the include function in PHP. The include function as 
okay well it doesn't show it but you have a file so if, well, let me just register.php so we have our file and our file is functions.php so if we include functions.php and this is you can only do it this way because functions is in the same folder if it was in a lower folder it would be something along the lines of slash period slash folder slash functions but since it's in the same directory as our register page we can just do that so now we have our functions and what would we, what we wanted to do was do connect there so now we've connected to our database let me just go over to register.php and there's no errors or anything to show that we've connected what I want to do now is just quickly prove to you how the protect function works so if we have our string that says hello and we want to echo the protected version of it string we go here and it'll say hello because it's just a basic string things like that now what I'm gonna do is because if you see if I add in another string or a double quote sorry then it gets messed up that's because double quotes and PHP are used for parsing strings so things like dash n and if we say hello like that you'll see that oh, well they are the same thing but that's that I don't know why I just did that I don't know I'm tired haven't slept well final exams things like that so what we're gonna do is we're going to do HTML let's throw in an HTML tag and see what happens as you can see it's not there we view source it's also not there this way, users won't be able to mess around with your website layout or anything like that. And if we also did like, I don't know, um, let me just use single quotes for this part. So if we say hello or one equals one. This is a very basic form of SQL injection, which means that if you're trying to update something, it would be let's just say we have string equals uh, you know just a form post thing and if the form post was hello it would say you know update user set username equal to hello and what this what this here would say is set username equal to hello or one equals one well let's just say we wanted to select something from a database select asterisk from user where username equals hello what this string will do is it would say select star from username or from user where username equals hello or one equals one and since one equals one is always true it will basically select everything hackers will try to use code like this to say okay um, delete everything in a database and that could be detrimental so whoopsie that's YouTube uploading my other video sorry get mixed up with the browsers so let me refresh and now you'll see that there's slashes right here so any code that hackers could have used is now negated so what we're going to do now is we have this and now we want to create the registration form so we'll just say register and again you can do this um, once we're done with the registration I will implement the layout that we have right here I will implement that into the registration page and login page and things like that so once I'm done with this just getting the database set up then we can move on and start working with the website more so we have register to create a form you have the form tags right here the action right here is 
what you want to do after the user submits the form. Meaning what page do they want to go to. So for this form we're going to use register.php. Now we also have to add a method. If we use a method, methods are get and post. If we post things they will be hidden from us and if we get something if we use method get and then we submit the form it will show something like register.php question mark you know username equals copophobia this can be very bad if you don't have a protect function like I just made because hackers would be like copophobia or one equals one and like I said they would try to manipulate the database delete it things like that just get rid of that okay so we're gonna use post just to make things a bit harder for them you can capitalize it lowercase whatever you want now we need to add in what we want our user to register so we're going to do input the type is going to equal text just saying it's a text text field the name we need a name for our you'll see why later for this we'll call it username and if we refresh the page you'll see that we have a text box let me just add in a few break lines we'll say username We'll add a break line here. There. So we now we have our username. I'll copy this and paste it, and this will be password. And let's see. No. Sorry. There we go. So we refresh. But we don't want users to see, we don't want the users to see their passwords. So what we're going to do is change this text to password. As you can see there, what this will do is username and123 password123. See, now they're just dots. So that makes it easier for us, which means that you know the person can't see their password, which is always annoying because, you know, if you're typing your password and then you accidentally make a typo, most of you will probably, like, delete your whole password and then retype it again. I've done that way too many times. <laughs> so when we have our email, input type is going to be text, then the name is going to be email. Then we have our input let's see the type is going to be button the name of it will be register then the value of the button will be register let me just break line there if I refresh the page you'll see we have our username our password our email and then the register button when they click the register button they're sent to the register page and in the next part of the tutorial, I'll be dealing with getting the user registered. I will see you in the next video.